it's time to go root and whilst you're at it make sure you farm for this nightmarish god roll which is going to make you act up inside Ron. Screw the raid exotic because this one might as well be exotic at this point itself clocking in at over a half a million damage as it's the first ever to come with a boss melting perk combo perfect for the non-existent DPS checks. It's also as rare as that day one contest clear emblem is in your collection as it only drops from the second encounter in the new Root of Nightmares raid however once you have it in your collections you can farm for it till your heart's content from the final boss as long as you have enough spoils from the final chest. Plus you can also craft it for just the cost of 5 red border patterns. It's an adaptive frame solar energy trace rifle, has an awesome glow effect as you fire the high powered laser beam and comes with top tier perks including perpetual motion, frenzy, vorpal and incandescent perfect for the crazy solar 3.0 builds. Yet it's the huge 40% damage increase that you can essentially get on tap by farming for this specific combo right here. No matter what class you run you can achieve this huge damage increase and quite frankly it's hands down the best trace rifle you can get especially if you've got end game aspirations. This is the first ever time that we've seen target lock on a trace rifle and it's a particularly potent perk on Acacia's dejection all because of its absolute ease of use to keep on target. It's essentially cold heart in solar form as its damage will ramp up continuously whereby you don't need to do anything special and even on lower health enemies you can easily get 2 stacks consistently to get a 20% damage boost. But to get that maximum 5 time stack you're going to need one of either rewind rounds or reconstruction. It's the first time we've seen either of these perks on a trace rifle too but both of these will allow you to overflow your magazine either by landing consistent hits thanks to rewind rounds or by auto loading the magazine over time with reconstruction. These will both get you to essentially double the magazine size which you can max out at 104 rounds with ionized battery and go even further with backup mag if you really want to hit over 200 rounds per mag. Then once you've hit over 110% of your base magazine that sweet 40% damage boost will proc taking your damage from the base 1487 per shot to 2081 for what is one whole magazine's worth of bonus damage at that point. You can then easily boost its damage in a fire team setting for DPS phases using free solar surge mods for an extra 22% damage. Then with a debuff like divinity applied and a well of radiance you'll take the signal magazine damage to way over half a million making it the perfect backup option to Thunderlord or whatever you're using for them skinji heavy ammo situations. If you do end up crafting it, it'll be worth its weight in gold as target lock will instead max out at a 45% damage buff and if that doesn't make you want to root then I don't know what will. I'm still hunting for this perfect combo so don't make me jealous in the comments. Also this god roll won't technically make you act up but your fire team might want to after they see your DPS by chucking it into this endgame ready solar build.